We're getting into the month of November and that means there's going to be some sales starting up. Uh, I just wanted to walk through some maybe some gift ideas that are either on sale now or potentially could be on sale for you to check out. So let's walk through some rod and reel setups, some lures, and just overall gear that I think could be useful to have in your boat or your kayaker if you're a shore fisherman. So let's start off with the rod and reel setups. Got a few different ones tied on today. So the two setups that I've been using the most are the one piece rods that ACC Crappie Sticks came out with, I believe last year or the beginning of 2023. This is the one foot or the one piece six foot rod. This is the one piece seven foot rod. Uh, great casting rods. The seven foot one piece has become by far my favorite rod to use. It's just a great multi-species setup. Right now I got it tied on with a six pound mono and a double jig setup but uh, you can also use this with like a 10 pound braid and a fluorocarbon leader for smallmouth or walleye if you're trying to jig for that. This has just become my favorite to use up here up north on the rivers. And as of filming this video, ACC Crappie Sticks has not announced any type of Black Friday deal, but keep checking the website, uh, click on the link down below, not only with the rods, but also the jig heads. I always carry a box full of jig heads, as you can see here, and they also have a selection of crappie jigs as well. Again, the seven foot one piece is my go-to setup right now. My, by far my favorite setup for crappie, smallmouth, walleye. Now, as we get into the ice fishing season, they do have a brand new lineup of ice rods. It's the 26 inch rods. Um, I'll leave a link to those as well. I don't actually have those on my boat today, but if you're prepping for ice fishing season, uh, check the ice fishing rod lineup out. So we talked about the rods. Um, talked about the jig heads, let's talk about the reels. Uh, PC Fun reels, I've been using these for probably six or seven years now. By far my favorite is the PC Fun Viper X reel. Not only is it good quality, because I, I put these through the ringer over the years, but they don't break the bank. These come in at $30 to $35. You can use a discount code, which is flopping18, to get 18% off. Um, there also might be other sales. Feel free to use if you got a better discount code, use it. The PC Fun Viper X is my go-to. The other options I would recommend are the Carbon X reel or this new Auric reel. Um, again, inexpensive options for pan fishing setups or maybe a finesse setup for smallmouth fishing or walleye fishing. But these are the reels I've been using for a lot of years. Um, 2000 size is kind of my go-to for a lot of this casting stuff. For the, lo the longer vertical jig rods, I go to a 1000 size just to help with the weight. And then for the ice fishing reels, you stay with the 500 size. Ice fishing season is coming up. Check out the inline reels that PC Fun has to offer. Again, 18% off code, flopping 18. All right, let's talk about lures that I've been using quite a bit. Uh, that's crappie monster lures. We have the Mag Minnow, which came out this past year. Uh, great big water or big crappie bait. This is great for your larger crappie. Um, I typically have been using this for a smallmouth or a walleye, kind of a snap jigging approach here on the rivers that I fish up north. The Mega Grub, it's a curly tail, great with just a spinner bait, casting and retrieving. Um, springtime, pre-spawn, post-spawn lure, that's probably my go-to setup on a beetle spin. And then you got your great vertical jigging minnow pattern, which is the Crappie Monster Small Fry. Um, double jig setups is what I've been using in the fall. And then as we get later into the fall, closer to winter time, uh, this is gonna be probably my go-to setup. This is the Crappie Monster Uppercut. It's a creature bait pattern, very small. I think it's a two inch creature bait pattern. It's great with either a double jig or single jig setup, vertical jigging, or you can kind of cast this kind of around some bridge pilings is where I've been fishing it recently. But all four of these lures are great for crappie. Uh, the Mega Grub and the Mag Minnow, great smallmouth and walleye presentations as well. And then of course, don't forget the crappie monster nets. I got two of these. Uh, this is the uh, scoper net. It's a four foot, it shrinks down to four foot, extends out to six feet. Um, it's a silicone netting. Don't get your lures caught in it. It's super easy to catch and release or catch and throw in the grease. Super easy to get the fish out of there. Your lures aren't getting stuck in the actual net webbing. Um, this is great because for me because it collapses to four feet. It fits right inside my uh, port side rod locker. Um, they do make the outlaw net, which is a longer net for those of you that fish with 10 to 12 foot rods or maybe you're a fishing guide. That extends all the way out to 12 feet. It compacts down to six feet. 
Um, I have that as well for my guide trips. Um, it's a great way to kind of stand back, let the client reel in the fish and get around the client and get way out there and make sure you actually boat the fish for the client. So you can use promo code DAVIS, D-A-V-I-S, for 20% off uh, the entire website, OTHfishing.com, for all your crappie monster lures and the net. They also have bait kits, so if you're not really sure kind of which lures you want to get, um, they do sell kits, uh, kind of like this one. They do sell kits, clear water, muddy water kits, and then your um, brim and black crappie kits. Again, speaking of ice fishing season, uh, another lure company that I do work with that I think they're going to have some current sales. If not, you can use promo code Flop and Crappie, get 10% off. But that company is Euro Tackle. Tungsten jig heads, I use these a ton during the ice fishing season. I use them right now, actually, in November as we're fishing kind of deeper water, 20, 22 feet. Uh, these are a great way to get your lures down quickly in front of a crappie's face. Uh, but they also have a great assortment of soft plastics and your hard baits, your lipless crankbaits, the Z-Vibers, I'm going to be using a lot during ice fishing season. I use those a lot um, for walleye fishing on the river systems. Here's a smaller one, and they got a great variety of, of these little lipless crankbaits. They're not quite blade baits, but uh, the, the heavier ones kind of act like it. Um, it's just a great way to trigger a strike, not only for crappie, but for bass and walleye as well. So check out Eurotackle.net. Um, if they don't have sales going on, be sure to use Flopping Crappie as a discount code. Get 10% off the entire website there. So those are your rod and reel setups and your lures that I pretty much use on a daily basis anytime I'm out fishing. Now this is just stuff I have in my boat in case I need it or I might actually use it quite a bit. Uh, if you need a good bump board, this is just a simple Rapala uh, bump board. I'll link it below. I don't know if these are going to go on sale, but uh, this is one I would highly recommend. It folds flat, sit, fits in your rod lockers, um, and then if you're catching some really big fish, it goes out to 60 inches. So if you're catching big pike and muskie or bigger walleye or something, this is a great bump board to use. Highly recommend. You do need a scale. This is the one I would recommend. I had a few different scales I've tried out, but this is the Rapala uh, touchscreen. It allows you to actually save up to eight fish so you can find your best seven crappie. A lot of the crappie tournaments, they do a seven best fish. So if you're out just fun fishing, you can figure out how you do on a specific day on any body of water. The vast majority of tournament guys that I've fished with, or I guess that I've filmed with or fished with, this is the scale that they use. Other things you definitely need in the boat, a pair of scissors. This one is just a little braid scissors by Rapala. I don't think this is more than like five or six bucks. And then these, these I highly recommend. These are a pair of medical pliers. Um, I got these on Amazon, I actually got a bunch of them. I will link, um, I'll put a link below. You can actually buy like a pack of 10 or 15 of these. A couple different sizes, um, but I highly recommend these. I know they make bigger pliers and, and everything to get the fish out, but for crappie and panfish, like bluegill, these are great. It can get into a bluegill's mouth, get that hook out without causing much damage at all. Talked about PC Fun already. This is their line spooler that they they sell. I think this is on sale right now, actually. Um, I keep one in my boat and one in my garage. Great way to re-spool both bait casters and spinning reels. Um, and it's just, it's super fast to just put new line on. I highly recommend looking at getting one of these. And then every crappie fisherman needs at least one of these in the boat. There's a couple different styles. Um, this kind of yellow style buoy. These are marker buoys. You got the yellow style marker buoy and then the old fashioned, um, I think this is made by Lindy. Yeah, Lindy marker buoy. Highly recommend getting one of these. If uh, I, I know forward facing sonar is a big thing right now. I got it on my boat. But for a lot of you that just use side imaging to mark brush piles or maybe a rock pile or something, you better have something like this in the boat to actually be able to circle back and get on top of it. Um, great visual presentation so you can actually cast at it. Maybe you got other people in the boat. They can't see the waypoints that you're looking at. So it's a great little tool to help make sure you're being accurate with your cast uh, on a brush pile or a rock pile or wherever you're fishing. Life jackets, I found these on Amazon. I don't even know who makes these. Ison, E-Y-S-O-N. Um, I think they came in like two pack and these are the automatic slash manual uh, inflatable life jackets. I know I hated wearing one of those bigger life jackets. Um, these 
type of life jackets. They're, they're basically so low profile, you barely feel like you're wearing them. You definitely need something like this. I don't care if you're in a, a bigger boat like this or a kayak or canoe or John boat. Life jackets are a necessity. These are an inexpensive option for the automatic or manual inflatable style. I know some of these can run up to like 200 bucks. These were not even close to that. I've, I'll link these up. It's an Amazon link. I'll put a link to these. Um, again, these were fairly inexpensive given the style that they are. I think it was, it was a two pack of these. So I'll link that below as well. Or as lure keeping stuff. This is made by Berkeley. It's the Berkeley binder. I think there's two of them. There's like a notebook and a binder. This is the binder. It's the big one. Um, this is actually all my, I think it's all my bass fishing and I think this is all my bigger walleye fishing stuff. Yes, you can fit a ton of soft plastics in here. Absolute ton of soft, soft plastics. Keeps them organized. Um, and if you're fishing in a buddy's boat, you can just grab this, throw it in the boat and you're off to go. And a couple other things. Oh, so this is thump gel. When I was down in Tennessee, I met uh, Andrew Norby from Andrew Norby Fishing. He recommended I try this stuff out. If you're having a tough time getting the fish to bite, this little scent bait works really well. Um, Thumpgel.com, I'll leave a link to this as well. They also make a net that's kind of like a live well net. So it's pretty easy to take fish in and out if you're carrying them from, a, from your live well to let's say the cleaning station or if you fish tournaments you can throw the fish in there it's like a floating style mesh net which you can actually throw it right in your live well i will leave a link to that so the last thing i want to talk about is actually for those of you that are beginning to film youtube videos or facebook or whatever um, having some sort of consistent power to your gopro uh, is so key instead of swapping out batteries as you'll learn this YOLO tech stick, this is the power stick. Uh, great way to film a bunch of content. Plugs right into your light system. I actually wired in a light system right in front of my dash. So all my B-roll shots and my GoPros, uh, kind of set hook sets and everything you'll see here. That's what I film with this. I also, this also came with a light, which is great if you're, you know, you're fishing early in the morning or late into the evening or you're night fishing and you want to get some filming done, it's got a light right here. Um, so this, I would highly recommend if you are looking at starting to film YouTube videos or Facebook videos, this is a go-to setup. So last but not least, let's talk about outerwear. Uh, these are my Norfin Pro Dry 3s. Uh, this is the jacket for it. Um, right now it's actually not too bad. I think it's like 45 degrees out, so it's pretty good. I usually wear this down to about upper 30s. Um, as long as there's not too much wind. This is a great wind breaker, by the way. So if you're running down the lake, you're doing 50 or whatever down the lake, great wind breaker, especially as we get into the later part of fall here. Um, I also wear the Element float suit during the winter time. So during the ice fishing season, it's great, especially if you're on thin ice, that float system will, if you go through the ice, it will keep your head above water, give you a chance to get back up on top of the ice and get out of the water. But also for those of you that fish during the winter time down south where you don't ice fish, um, either wear this during the winter time because if you fall into you know, 35 to 40 degree water, uh, you're not going to last very long. Um, otherwise, that float suit, it's a built-in bib setup. It's a built-in flotation inside of your bibs and your jacket. It's going to keep you warm. If you do fall in, it's going to keep your head above water and give you a chance to get back into the boat and hopefully get back to the ramp safely. So check out North in USA, um, the rain suits, and I guess the windbreaker. This is great for just when you're running down the lake, especially as you get into the fall when it starts to get colder. It's great to break up the wind. And then if, as we get into really cold temperatures, uh, that element float suit is what I use, and I would highly recommend that as well. Those are some items to look for on sale. If they're not on sale, use those discount codes. Save yourself some money. Um, some of them will probably go on sale for Black Friday, so look out for those. I'll leave links to everything in the video description. If you got any comments or questions on any of the gear that I mentioned, you can post that in the comment section as well. I always appreciate hearing from you on Facebook and Instagram. Check out some of this stuff. Good luck on the water this fall and this winter. Hoping you're catching a ton of fish. We'll see you in the next one.